Hey folks, it's Jackie the Hot Tub Lady and hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited that you're here and if, hey, if you get good information out of this, please shoot me a thumbs up and please, by all means, ask any question that you would have about a hot tub. Put that down below. I'll be more than thrilled to, to find an answer, shoot your video or somehow, shape or form, get you the answers that you're looking for because I want your hot tub ownership experience to be absolutely epic. And by all means, if you get a second, hit the subscribe button. It helps so much and it helps me get more information out to you and helps you enjoy your life a little bit more. And uh, today's topic is going to be how to maintain your hot tub in a winter. We're going to talk about our top three service calls and what causes those to happen and the very simple things that you can do to fix, fix those without actually having us to come out. Because be honest with you, these top three reasons that we have to go out to people's homes in the winter are not covered under warranty, so they're actually a service call. So, um, and our typical service call right now is $149, and that does not include mileage if you need it. So, very, very simple little things. We're going to talk about water level, we're going to talk about clean filters, and we're going to talk about covers. Those three things we're going to talk about, and I'll be right here to get into all that information. folks I'm back and hey um, so I had a couple requests from from you on how to maintain your hot tub in the winter so um, I'm just gonna real quickly get into this and let you know what we need to do our number one service call is water level believe it or not your water in the winter evaporates so much quicker so you know it's a 104 degree water temperature it's zero degrees outside that water is going to evaporate so quickly. You know, I'm in my hot tub two to three times a day. Uh, Frank and I will get in in the morning. He's, he'll sometimes get, you know, beat me home from work. The UPS driver, he's freezing. He jumps in the hot tub, feels so much better. He's in there 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll both jump in it again before we go to bed, and, and we sleep like babies once we do that. But just because that cover is open so much more, and you're gonna use your hot tub more in the winter, it's, you're good, the, it's gonna evaporate. I mean, you just, you're literally gonna lose it. And you do need to keep your water level at the proper level. Um, it is, honestly, I, I can tell you, I bet we get at least three to four phone calls a week that we have to go out to somebody's house and put water in their hot tub. Um, we'll gladly do it, but we just don't do it for free. So just kind of keep that in mind. But you really wanna keep it above the highest jet or right at the bottom of the pillows. That's super important that you do it. The big thing is, is the water's gonna go over the skimmer weir um, and go in through your, your filters. Either it's on top of the filter or it's beside the filter. And if that if the water can't get over that weir and it's purging, making the pump purge, that will shut the heater down and that is a bad, bad deal. Um, our number two service call, and this one's an everyday thing. I, I kid you not, every day in the winter months we get a phone call on this every single time that their lights are leaking or the, the hot tub is cold or something along that. And the number two reason that we're going out is people's filters are dirty. So you, you have to clean your filter a minimum of once a month. It's, it's huge, it's important, you gotta do it. Um, if you've got the Triax filters, this is when it's fantastic to throw them in the dishwasher. You can only do those on the Hot Springs Triax. If you have the paper filters, you do need to use the degreaser and you have to do that. Um, you know, we. It's just super important. The, the thing that I do at home, um, especially when I had the paper filters in my hot tub, the I actually had I had three sets of filters. And you can slowly accumulate these up. You don't have to go out and buy three sets of filters today. But, you know, just this year buy a, buy a filter, next year buy a filter, that way you just have, have extra filters. But the, way, the easiest and best way to do it is to have one filter in the hot tub, one filter soaking in the degreaser and I'll just leave it in there all month long. I, honestly, I'll leave it in there all month long and I'll have a third one that's clean, dry, and ready to go. And I just rotate those out once a month and if you just keep doing that, you'll, you'll be fantastic. So it's absolutely a super, super easy thing to do. And number three, the number three reason that, that we have to do a service call is people aren't getting their covers closed. Um, you want to make sure, if you got a cover lifter on the back, you don't have to latch it because that cover lifter will, be, um, will hold that back end down. But make sure the front end of the cover gets completely 
completely shut down. We don't have the apron like tucked in between the cover and the hot tub. Um, you lose a lot of water via that way, and it's. Um, I mean, you can. I. You can use it. Lose a ton of water. I can tell you at my house we're probably typically. You know, and even with the cover completely closed, we're adding 15 to 20 gallons of water every three to four weeks. Frank will actually take a bucket and run it out to the, run it out to the hot tub. Um, extra bonus tip for you. Um, definitely, if you have a hot tub and you live in a cold, in cold environment like I do here in South Dakota, invest in one of those collapsible hoses that you would just keep in your laundry room, just one of those. And, you know, get a 50-footer, it collapses down, it's super light, it's really easy. Um, I'll, I'll post a picture over here what you need to get. But just have one of those and then go to your local hardware store and get a, um, it's a little adapter and you just screw it into the, your bathroom sink or your kitchen sink and you just screw it into there and then that'll actually give you ability to get water out to the hot tub without having to use the out outdoor faucet, which you do not want to do when it's below freezing. Um, so that's that's just a huge tip that we just tell everybody if you, if you invest in those few things you know spend 20 bucks at the local hardware store your winter will be much much better if you do that um, another little trick that trick that you can do to access water um, if you don't want to do all that other stuff is you can actually uh, unhook the uh, washing machine and hook it up via that way so again those collapsible hoses are awesome to have um, but it's, it's really a big deal so if, if I could tell you anything, if you can take care of those three things, that's going to save you a minimum of $149 because none of those are covered under warranty. Those are just regular maintenance. Um, so, real easy thing to do. Keep that water level high, keep those filters clean, and keep the covers closed properly. If you can do those three things, your hot tubs will do fantastic. And I can tell you, if you have a well-insulated hot tub like a hot spring, you have 14 degree, 14 days before that baby's going to freeze at zero degrees. I mean, you, you really do. So make sure you're checking your hot tub a minimum of once a week. Go out, take a look at it. Make sure, you know, every Monday afternoon, just mark it in your phone or your calendar. Check the temperature of the hot tub. I'm hoping you're using your hot tub. I'm, the winter is the best time to use your hot tub. I mean, it's your body feels so much better. It's so good for you. And how relaxing is it to watch the big fluffy snowflakes come down and you're in the hot tub and, you know, have a glass of wine and enjoying that. That is that is bliss at its best. Talk about relaxing. That's awesome. But just put a reminder in your phone. Every Monday evening at 6 o'clock, I'm going to check the, check the temperature of the hot tub. If, as long as you know you're doing that and you're at the proper temperature every Monday and for whatever reason you don't get to use the hot tub this week, you know it's going to be good, so that's that's definitely have plenty of time, plenty of time to, to get the situation taken care of if, if for some reason the temperature does drop. So anyway, those are my tips for taking care of your hot tub and during the winter months. If you have any other questions or comments, please mark them down below. I would be thrilled to answer any questions that you may have. And just remember here at the Hot Tub Lady, we love you. Hit the subscribe button, shoot me a thumbs up, and keep making life epic.